Hey guys, so we are back with Money Making Mondays. Uh, I apologize, the last video was uh, was muted, and it's kind of a long story. I won't really get into it. Um, but thank you guys for coming back, watching the video. Uh, we are going into this. Uh, before we actually get into this, I do want to say thank you. We had a bunch of cool tips in the previous video, and I'd love it if all of you guys could add more tips into this video into the comments help each other out maybe something was working on your server it's no longer working so give people advice to use it on their servers uh, i am going to base this week off of the average level so if you're someone who levels really fast uh, then you might not be able to use a lot of these but if you're someone that levels around pace these will be great if you're someone who levels a little bit slow then you might be seeing some of these as something that you might want to do later so to start off, the biggest thing that I want to talk about is the uh, the current level range on average is about level 30. Uh, most people are in a bell curve between 20 and 40 with the average around like 32. And uh, there are a few people that are upward level 50. And uh, again, most of those streamers out there are already level 60. But uh, with those level ranges in mind, I'm going to start off at 20 give some tips, and then we're going to move on from there. So the biggest things that I want to say is when you're around level 20s, um, I honestly, I would say pretty much just head over to BFD and uh, just do that as a dungeon, if you're willing to do dungeons. It's just, it's good farming, it's good experience, as well as it's really good money. If by any chance you're playing damage and you really can't do BFD, quests at the in the level 20 zones hit a pretty good spike in gold uh i don't exactly know why when i was level 15 uh all my quests were given around like 10 to 15 silver um and then i like right as i got into these level 20 zones everything was giving like 20 to 35 silver and it was a huge bump so i would say either questing or doing bfd is going to be your best way to make gold at this level sfk is another good one uh either of those dungeons are really really good for gold and i'll talk about those a little bit later because like sfk in particular is going to be brought up again um later in this guide but uh, if you are in the around level 30 range, then there are two farmings that I really would recommend. Um, and the reason why I'm going to recommend these is, uh, I'll, I'll come back to the, the, the items that I was trying to show everyone have already been sold, which is kind of funny. Um, but the uh, in Ashenvale... There is this zone. So if you are Alliance, uh, let's say that you are Alliance right here. You land down an Astronaut. You're going to head down and then try to avoid Splinter Tree if you can. And then boom, right there. Uh, your goal is to run around this area. All right. So you're going to keep running in a circle like that. And that is your goal route. As far as Horde, you land down in Splinter Tree. Be a little nice about the alliance and take this path up here and then start going and i would recommend just going in the same direction because if everyone's watching my video and not that many people are watching this one and we're all on different servers so i doubt we're going to be seeing each other but if you happen to see uh someone farming this path just give them a wave unless there's too many people farming then feel free to turn it into a pvp zone but uh i, I told my friend to do this we're on a pvp server uh well it's rp pvp but people still kill each other um and the big thing is I asked him, I'm like, how much or how, how long does it take you to kill 100 of these spiders? And it took him 33 minutes to kill 100 of these spiders. And I'm like, kill 100 of these spiders and tell me what you've got. And so he got, by the way, he was playing a level 28 shaman. You could do it faster. I'm positive if you're playing like a hunter, uh, a rogue, or if you're just a little bit higher level to where you're creating all the enemies and then they are... Uh, so I would say this is a good place to level from like 29 to about 33. And with the amount of gold he made, and I've been checking other servers for the, the this item that we're fi farming, um, it will get you your mounts. Pretty much if you just farmed from 28 to 33, you'll get enough gold to get your mount at, at uh, 40. Um, but if not, I'll bring up a couple other zones in a little bit. So right now, um, there is everyone's trying to level their professions, right? And Spider Silk is an item that is in a lot of these guides that are online to level them. And 
I don't really know why this item's in all these guides, because it's an item that not a lot of people are farming. It's an item that not a lot of people are using, or, like, getting. Because spider quests in vanilla are notorious for taking forever to loot whatever items they ask for. So the people that do them will get a lot of farm, but a lot of people in these, like, leveling guides um, are just avoiding these quests because they take too long. But for us... When my friend was doing this, he was getting about 18,000 experience per hour, which means that's on par with questing, and that's um, on par with dungeons, as long as you're not just doing, like, mass pulls. But that's kind of difficult to do those mass pulls in BFD and SFK. So, uh, we're looking for spider silk, and not thick spider silk. We'll come back to thick spider silk. We're looking for basic spider silk, which on my server was selling at about 10 silver, when I made this video a little bit ago, and on every other server I was looking at, especially the servers that people had a higher level range on average, um, these were selling for a lot higher. Once people hit 60, and then they go back and start trying to level their professions, they're not going to go back and farm spider silk. They're just going to buy it. And level 60s get a lot more gold per quest, so they're willing to spend a little bit more. Spider silk on average is selling for, I would say, 15 to 20 silver. Uh, so don't, just because we're seeing it at 30 silver doesn't mean that's actually what it's going to sell for. 15 to uh, to 20 silver. I had my friend do this when it was at 10 silver and he was making 3 gold an hour. Just the amount of hours it would take for him to gain those 4 levels, 4 to 5 levels in that zone would make it to where he could get his mount. Uh, and he would have the gold for his mount at level 34. That's pretty insane. So it's a great tool to get gold between those levels. Um, it's also just a really solid place to farm. So that's where we're at with spider silk right now. Everyone's leveling their professions and they're hitting that point where they need spider silk. It's worth a lot of gold. Um, now, where do we go later in the levels? From level 35... Uh, I would recommend just start doing some SM, and just because it's like Scarlet Monastery, it's going to give a lot of greens, it's going to give a lot of gold, they're all humans, and the great part about taking down any humanoid targets is you are going to be getting gold on every kill, or not gold, but but copper on every kill, uh, you're going to be getting cloth on like every fourth kill, they tend to have a lot of chests in dungeons that have a lot of humans, so that's going to be really valuable. Uh, so Scarlet Monastery is going to be great from about 35 on to maybe like into the, the 40s. When you start getting around the 40s, there's this little area that, that I found that is really fascinating to me. Um, so you're going to head to Swamp of Sorrows. And nobody's ever in Swamp of Sorrows, right? And uh, if you're Horde, you land here. If you're Alliance, I'm not 100% sure. I believe it's either here or here. I can't remember. I mean, I won't have the quest available for me, so uh, I definitely don't think it's here or here. I'm guessing it's probably here. Oh, wait, Swamp of Sorrows. It's Theramore. No, it's not Theramore. I think it's over here. So there's Alliance. Um, here's Horde. And you're going to head down here, and for Alliance, same thing. Now, there's a couple things that's cool about this one. This one is a very wide area. The respawn rates are not bad. The only thing that's annoying is that you're not going to be able to farm just spiders. There's other enemies in this area. So it's going to be a little bit difficult. But this area has these other spiders that have not only a high drop rate of thick spider silk, but they have an abnormally high drop rate for a couple greens. In fact, there is one green in particular that drops in this area uh, called, it's an axe called the Battle Chaser. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, hold on. It was a, uh, that's kind of weird. And why am I not finding this? Sorry, Battle is it the Battle Slayer? Let me see what this looks like. Yeah, the Battle Slayer. My bad. It has a 7% drop chance of dropping this axe. I'm not even... I, I don't even know what that's about. Um, but it also has a, a high drop chance of dropping multiple other greens. Uh, when I told another friend to farm this, level 40 warrior, uh, he got... <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Eight of these axes 
while also getting a variety of other um, random greens along the way. And he also ended up getting a decent amount of thick spider silk. Now, the price of thick spider silk right now is a little bit lower, but this is the same issue about the the other spider silk and why the price is rising so fast. People haven't gotten to the point where they need this yet for their professions. So if you're round level 40, take the thick spider silk and you are going to hold on to it a little bit. You can maybe put in a little trickle here and there if you need your mount, sell that, and then feel free to hold on to it because it's going to rise in price when people get there. And that's kind of the cool part about that. Anyways, so that is essentially the level 40 area. When you hit 50, the fastest from everyone that I've talked to, SFK Farms. It drops a cloth that's worth a lot. It Each of the enemies drop copper and a decent amount for the ones you're killing. A lot of greens and the highest chance of getting bound on equipped blues. And not, and not just any bound on equipped blues. Bound on equipped blues that if you hold on to them. So not only can you get guaranteed fast money, but if you hold on to all those blues that you get... When dungeons start coming out, they are the best level 19 twink items. And if you guys don't know what a twink is, um, don't Google it. I'm just kidding. Um, a twink in Vanilla WoW is essentially someone who will stay at level 19 because the dungeons or the, the, the battlegrounds don't scale your levels. So you will be level 10 versus level 19, level 11, sorry, level 20 versus level 29s okay so people will sit at level 19 forever and they will get all the best level 19 items so if you go in here and you put level range 17 to 19 